Good morning, everybody. Good to be with you this morning, man. I'll tell you, this weather is crazy. It's cold out here. It's cloudy. The birds don't even know what to do with this weather. But you know what? We're out. We're up, and the world's waking up, and, and, and we have a ministry to do today. And that's to share the love and grace of Jesus Christ, right? We're to do that every single day. But today I want to talk about our world. The changing in our community, the changing in our, in the way we go and live our lives, right? We have things like this. I wear one of these every single day, right? I wear a face mask. I deliver groceries to people who shouldn't be out and, and people who are quarantined. And every day now, I see people, all kinds of people. And, and be, wearing a, a face mask has become part of our every day, right? It, it, in, a few months ago, we would have never dreamed of walking around with a face mask on. Now, everywhere you look, people walk around with face masks. They walk around with rubber gloves on. Right? This is our this is our new world now. This is the world we live in, and it's a good thing to stay safe. And so we have rubber gloves that we wear now to keep ourselves safe. We use stuff like this disinfectant spray. Right? I carry this with me everywhere I go in the store. I have disinfectant spray. We use it to kill germs, right? We have soap and water. We have little hand foaming hand cleaners, right? These are things we, we live with all the time. We have hand sanitizer spray. We have all kinds of stuff we use to keep ourselves safe physically, right? Masks, gloves, there's protocol on what I do when I get home. I take off all of the clothes that I've been wearing, you know, and, I, and I, they get cleaned so that there's no germs or contamination that can try to, to work its way into our house. I have all of my stuff that I try to keep clean and, and, and keep sanitized. This is the way of the world, right? This is the way we live now. We used to not have to do that. And all of it is meant to keep ourselves physically healthy. Everything we do is meant to keep people safe, right? To keep people away from being infected. But when we spend this much energy on physical safety, what kind of emphasis are we putting on our spiritual safety? What kind of emphasis are we putting on the need for the Savior in our life? All of this being said, with all of the precautions we're taking and all of the things that are happening in our world and all of the, you know, the people that are, are affected and have died and the families that have been affected and we pray for them and and, and we want to keep them in our prayers continually that, that this that this pandemic will go away and lessen. We can't lessen the fact that now more than ever we need Jesus. Now more than ever we need people turning to Jesus. We need people that are that are going to focus on prayer. Right. That, that this needs to be an awakening. So things like this, right? Even though we get used to them of wearing our masks and wearing our gloves and, and being more intentional about being washing our hands and being clean, right? So that when this stuff becomes commonplace and this is easily acceptable for me to walk around all day long with this beautiful purple mask. I spend most of my day delivering groceries and shopping for people's orders and this mask and it's acceptable people see it and they recognize that I'm keeping them safe I'm trying to keep myself safe right we're working together for the common good but what will people what do people see when they see me spiritually right how can I give off something that says that I care it's how we operate with the fruit of the spirit peace patience kindness love gentleness self-control right all of those things that come forward in our world in a world that needs it. And so what I want to encourage you to do, either make a video yourself. It's really easy. If you go to your phone and you go to your, and I had to figure this out, and you go to where you take your pictures, right, your camera, there's a video button. If you hit the video, it brings up the camera feature. And then you just hit play and, and record, and then you can record yourself, and or you can type it out. And I want to hear your stories. It would be great to share them with each other. The stories of where you have seen God's grace, where you've seen God's hand play out in the world today. Where have you seen it? In your kids, at the store, online? Where have you seen it where God has touched you and you have seen 
whether it's something you've done or something somebody's done that you've seen, how is Jesus moving in the community today? Type it out, put it in the comments, post it on the church Facebook page, make a video of yourself, send it to me, and I'll post it, and we can get these out there. People need to hear all the good things that are going on, and there are a lot of good things going on. But if we're going to spend as much time as we do on personal protection, right, for our physical bodies, and we should do this, we should take care of our bodies, and we should make sure that we're safe and we're keeping our distance and we're doing the things that are being suggested to us to do to keep safe for our own physical health and the health of those around us, we need to put as much emphasis, friends, on the spiritual health and well-being of the people we know. We need to be in the people that we come in contact with. How is it with your soul? Physically, we're going to be okay, but how are we spiritually? How are you with your soul? Okay? So today, let's pray and ask God to give us an opportunity to share that grace and to share that love. Almighty God, we do thank you for the day that we can get together and we can protect ourselves in the most important way with your Son, Jesus Christ, in our life. That is the ultimate protection for everything, every time. And as we're taking care of our physical bodies and as we're nurturing and caring for each other, Lord, help us to see your hand in motion. Help us to see the building up of your people. Help us to witness that. And Lord, help us to share those stories. Lord, help us with the confidence it is to, to either type it out or make a video or something, Lord, to, to help share where God's working in your life. Where is God changing in your world? Where is his hand moving in your life? We want to hear. We want to share. Lord, give us your grace this day that for the people we encounter, they see you. They experience your love each and every moment. We ask this in the name of the risen King, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Have a great day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. God bless. Bye-bye.